Adolf Hitler, the very name synonymous with power and might, had his destiny shaped by the early experiences in his life. Born in 1889 in a small village in Austria, Hitler's early days were anything but extraordinary. They were marked with poverty and struggle. Hitler wanted to be an artist, but on his father's insistence, he took up technical education, causing him to become rebellious at school. His next few years were spent penniless in the streets of Vienna as he struggled to pursue his dream of being a painter. However, enrolling for the German army during the First World War ignited in him a spirit of patriotism. He was twice recognized with the Iron Cross Medal for his bravery at the war front. Germany's defeat in the First World War and the unfair Versailles Treaty that followed infuriated Hitler. Carrying the angst, in 1919, he joined the German Workers' Party but soon took over and renamed it the National Socialist German Workers' Party. This popularly came to be known as the Nazi Party. The Nazi ideology, as propagated by Hitler, was based on a racial hierarchy that considered the German Aryans to be superior to the Jews. Soon, under Hitler's leadership, the Nazi Party rose in significance, but it still failed to garner popular support. Hitler made a failed attempt to seize control of Bavaria in 1923, for which he was arrested and even tried for treason, though he was released later. It was during this period of imprisonment that he wrote Mein Kampf, that inspired German militarism and gave insights into his political ideology. Let's go back in time to see how Hitler skillfully took forward the Nazi party. The Nazi party saw a marked rise in its acceptance during the Great Depression. Inspired with the Nazi propaganda, thousands carried the red banners with the swastika in a hope for a better tomorrow. Massive rallies and public meetings helped to ignite the spirit of unity. Hitler's powerful speeches further motivated the people. Die Nationalsozialisten sind überhaupt nicht deutsch, denn sie lehnen die Arbeit mit anderen Parteien ab. Also ist es typisch deutsch, 30 Parteien zu besitzen. Ich habe hier eine zu erklären, die Herren haben ganz recht. Wir sind intolerant. Ich habe mir ein Ziel gesteckt. Hitler's passion was reflected in his electrifying speeches. Soon, the Nazi party's share of votes rose from a measly 2.6% in 1928 to 37% in 1932, making it the largest party. Thus, Hitler had caught the imagination of the young German minds, promising them a Germany free of foreign influences. Hitler was seen as a messiah who would deliver people from all the ills prevalent in those times. Hitler's power compelled an initially hesitant President Hindenburg to offer him the chancellorship the highest position in the cabinet of ministers. Very soon, Hitler took advantage of the situation when a mysterious fire broke out in the German parliament building and assumed greater control. He used his powers to send opponents such as communists to inhuman concentration camps, shut down trade unions 
and banned all political parties except his own. Within a month, Hitler also ensured that the Enabling Act was passed on March 3, 1933. This act gave Hitler the powers to sideline the parliament and rule by decree. Thus, through powerful speeches and shrewd planning, Hitler finally established dictatorship in Germany.